Chapter 371, Rights to be Arrogant. T. Earlier, Xiao Chen had snubbed Jin Wuji. In Jin Wuji's heart, he hoped that Bai Shuiung would teach Xiao Chen a lesson. However, Xiao Chen was Su Xiaoxiao's friend. Furthermore, Yu Chengxi sat beside him. At this point, if he presented himself as straightforward and upright, he might catch the notice of the other party. However, Xiao Chen completely ignored his intervention. He saw the purple electricity that faintly appeared around his challenger and immediately grew excited. The other party was a swordsman who comprehended the state of thunder. Xiao Chen stood and looked at Bai Shuiyang. He said softly, I accept your challenge. The state of thunder was the hardest state to comprehend. It was also the one with the strongest attacks compared to the other energy states. The state of thunder did not have many tricks either. It relied on a pure and berserk attacking power. This was the purest attacking method of the natural world's heavenly Daos. Since Xiao Chen comprehended the state of thunder, he had not fought any cultivator who comprehended the state of thunder as well. Hence, Bai Shuiyang's move interested him. Bai Shuiyang said indifferently, your mouth is full of extravagant embellishments. I want to see what kind of strength you have. Don't say that I bullied you with my cultivation realm. Rest assured, I will only use 50% of my strength to fight you. Xiao Chen held the lunar shadow saber in his hand and slowly walked to the empty space. He said indifferently, there is no need to go to that trouble. Just make your move. Very good. I want to see what gives you the right to be arrogant. Boom. An electric light flickered, and Bai Shuiyang drew his sword with lightning speed. Thunder roared in the board space, making the spectators' eardrums tremble. In Bai Shuiyang's hands, his sword was like a rushing bolt of lightning the moment he drew it, it was incredibly resplendent. Bai Shuiyang traveled a distance of a hundred meters with one step. He launched his sword, lit up with dazzling electric light, at Xiao Chen's head. This sword carried the speed and berserk nature of lightning. Before the sword arrived, it created a strong wind. This made the hair of the people behind Xiao Chen flutter. They could not help but squint their eyes. What a powerful sword. After not seeing Bai Shuiyang for a few years, his strength has grown again. This person is much stronger than Zhou Lingdong. When the crowd saw the fast wind and shocking sword, they all exclaimed this in their hearts. Xiao Chen's expression remained unchanged. When the sword was about 5 meters from him, he used his right hand to draw his lunar shadow saber with lightning speed. Dang! The melodious sound of weapons clashing rang out. Most of the people could not see how Xiao Chen drew his saber. When they heard the clash, Bai Shuiyang had already taken five steps back. He wore a grave expression. What's going on? How did this fellow draw his sword? Unexpectedly, I could not see it. Strange, I did not see it either. By the time I heard the sound, Bai Shuiyang had already stepped back. Of the hundred people on the fourth floor, less than ten people saw how he drew his saber. Xiao Chen had unsheathed his saber last but struck first. His speed instantly reached Mach 2. He used his stronger state of thunder to hit the weak point of his opponent's sword technique, instantly breaking his opponent's move. Astonishment filled Jin Wuji's face. He muttered, what a strong state of thunder. He clearly only comprehended it to small perfection, but it is several times stronger than Bai Shuiyang's. This person must have cultivated a high-rank lightning attributed cultivation technique. Yu Chengxi asked softly, who is this? Does young master Jin know? Jin Wuji was mildly stunned. He did not accept Yu Chengxi's interest in this person. A cold look flashed in his eyes as he said softly, I do not know him. Miss Xiao Xiao brought him here. Yu Chengxi said, oh, let's continue to watch. Xiao Chen looked at Bai Shuiyang and said indifferently, use your full power. Your state cannot compare to mine. You can only use your advantage in essence to fight me. 
Otherwise, you will lose within 10 moves. When the other person heard Xiao Chen say such shocking words in such a calm manner, they felt shaken. When Xiao Chen said this, it did not feel inappropriate. His tone was very natural like he stated an unimportant fact. Just based on Xiao Chen's confidence, these people were already certain that he was not an ordinary superior grade martial saint. Arrogant. Don't speak as if my defeat is guaranteed. Thundercloud sword chop. Bai Shuiyang smiled coldly and rushed forward once more. Thunderclouds appeared around Bai Shuiyang. Boundless electricity flickered in the clouds, cracking. The electricity in the clouds surrounded him. As the thunderclouds churned, his aura rose relentlessly like a treasured sword being sharpened, waiting to be drawn. When the crowd felt the might of this sword, their confidence in Bai Shuiyang rose. No matter how powerful his state was, a superior grade martial saint could not dodge this sword. Chop. The sword light flashed, and Bai Shuiyang emerged from the thundercloud, moving like a bolt of lightning. Dang. There was another melodious clanging of weapons. Most of the spectators still did not see Xiao Chen make his move. By the time they heard the sound, Bai Shuiyang was already flying backward. This was a very strange feeling. It clearly happened right in front of them, but they only saw it happen after they heard the sound. Jin Wuji muttered, most people can only achieve Mach 2 after slowly accelerating. It is too difficult to reach that kind of speed in an instant. I wonder how he did it. The more Yu Chengxi watched Xiao Chen, the more interested she became. She said softly, this is only a simple drawing skill. However, I have not seen many people practice to this level. Dang. 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 Bai Shuiyang made another three moves, but Xiao Chen broke them all with one saber strike. Each time, Xiao Chen used his nearly perfect saber drawing skills. He always found the weakness in his opponent's move and broke it with a single strike. A strong state of thunder and a fast, seemingly perfect saber skills, he is the white-robed bladesman, Xiao Chen. That is definitely him. He has white robes and a saber with a blue strip of cloth on his forehead. Considering your earlier points and his dress, it must be him. Finally, some people in the crowd guessed Xiao Chen's identity. However, many of them had not heard of the white-robed bladesman before. So they asked about it. These people's nations were further away from the great Qin nation. The matters of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion had not spread so far yet. However, when they have heard Xiao Chen's story, the earlier disdain many cultivators had for him disappeared, and their expressions turned grave. If it were merely the case of defeating Duan Muqing and the others, that was nothing. After all, these people's strengths were not at the top. However, when they heard that Xiao Chen had easily defeated the outer disciples of the Holy Land, they could not help their astonishment. Jin Wuji seemed like he was pondering. He thought to himself, so he is the white-robed bladesman, Xiao Chen. I have finally met him in person. I have received five of your moves. It is time you received one from me. Bai Shuiyang took soft steps back and continuously gathered his aura. He said indifferently, just one move. My defense is more than enough to withstand ten moves from you. Ever since Bai Shuiyang made his first move, Xiao Chen's interest in him quickly diminished, he was disappointed. Although this person had comprehended the state of thunder, he took the wrong path. He only chased after the strength of the state but did not focus on perfectly merging his state with his sword techniques. Bai Shuiyang stopped at a rudimentary merging of his state into his sword techniques. After he attacked, it seemed mighty, and his aura blazed. He could easily suppress a state of a similar level, he could even instant kill a slightly weaker state. However, if Bai Shuiyang ran into a cultivator stronger than him, without merging his state into his sword technique, his move was full of openings. This was why Xiao Chen could easily break Bai Shuiyang's moves by only drawing his saber at Mach 2. If he fought another opponent, 
it would be very difficult to accomplish this. Such an exchange of pointers was not very useful to Xiao Chen. So he sought to finish this as soon as he could. ZZ. Bai Shuiyang used the electricity to layer three thick, electric shields around him. He had stacked them on top of each other. The final layer stuck tightly to Bai Shuiyang's skin. The purple electric light acted like a suit of armor. This Bai Shuiyang, he said he was not afraid, but look at him, he even used his clan's trump card. He even used three layers of defense, a few of the strong cultivators present mocked him. Xiao Chen grasped the lunar shadow saber tightly. He watched as Bai Shuiyang mounted his defense, waiting for him to finish. Strands of red light came from the scarlet massacre thrown in Xiao Chen's sea of consciousness. It flowed through his meridians and infused into his saber. The saber flickered with purple electric light. Then, it flickered between red and purple light. Xiao Chen pushed off the ground lightly and executed the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art, sending out a saber strike. Bang! 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 The saber technique containing both the state of massacre and the state of thunder easily smashed through the three layers of shielding formed with electricity. The saber contained a surging force, it managed to knock Bai Shuiyang flying, causing him to fall miserably to the ground. He actually managed to defeat Bai Shuiyang with one saber strike. The fame of the white-robed bladesman is not in vain. He could easily rank among the top cultivators here. It is hard to imagine that he comes from the great Qin nation. Bai Shuiyang's defense was simply useless against him. This sharpness of this saber strike was too astonishing. Bai Shuiyang was too arrogant. Xiao Chen defeated Bai Shuiyang with one saber strike. The people who mocked him earlier kept quiet, they did not dare slight him. The people in the crowd all commented on the two's fight. They made an objective evaluation of Xiao Chen's strength. As Xiao Chen had expected, in order to gain their respect, he had to use the saber in his hand. This was the most direct and most convincing method. Xiao Chen faced Bai Shuiyang, who was getting up, and cupped his hands, thank you for going easy on me. Xiao Chen had held back with that previous saber strike. He did not infuse his state into the other party's body. Hence, the other party only suffered from some external wounds. Bai Shuiyang felt somewhat embarrassed, he initially planned to help his friend to regain his honor. However, he was unexpectedly defeated in one move. He quietly returned to his seat. He has grasped the state of massacre. No wonder he can challenge someone near his cultivation realm so easily. Yu Chunqi watched as Xiao Chen returned to his seat. She thought to herself, unfortunately, his cultivation is too slow. Furthermore, his state of massacre is not as perfect as his state of thunder. He is weaker than expected. However, his potential cannot be underestimated. The exchange of pointers continued, the atmosphere also became increasingly lively. After each fight, there was always someone in the crowd giving their opinions. Of the groups, there were five or six people who caught Xiao Chen's attention. These people had comprehended their states to great perfection. More importantly, they had infused their own unique insights. For example, there was a great Sha Nation swordsman who comprehended the state of wind. He had infused the traceless and formless characteristics into his sword techniques. When that swordsman used his sword, it was traceless and hard to follow. He had merged it perfectly with his martial technique. At least, Xiao Chen could not detect any weak points. There was also another great Chu Nation cultivator. He had also comprehended the state of wind. However, the speed of the state of wind was not his main focus. Instead, the great Chu Nation cultivator focused on the forceful and berserk nature of the state of wind. He merged it into his own surging sword techniques. When the great Chu Nation cultivator made his move, strong winds howled and formed a horrifying storm. It was as if the sword winds had exploded. There were even experts who had comprehended the state of water. 
they had infused the special characteristics of the eternal flowing water into their moves. When they made their moves, they left no traces. The sharp sword lights looked as if they had appeared from nowhere. This made it hard for people to follow the move's trajectory. This was a great eye-opener for Xiao Chen. He even felt like he had gained some enlightenment of his own comprehension toward the state of thunder. Xiao Chen had infused the state of thunder into his own saber techniques long ago. What he focused on was the berserk and violent nature of the state of thunder. The lightning of the natural world also contained these two characteristics. When the clouds crashed against each other, it would continuously store energy and strike out, exhibiting the berserk and violent nature. Compared to the other states, its attack power and destructive power were greater. Its weakness was the difficulty of chaining them together. Such strong destructive power would exhaust a significant amount of essence with every strike. Furthermore, one had to build momentum continuously. Hence, compared to the other states, there was a lack of continuity and flexibility. Xiao Chen thought to himself, regarding the state of thunder, I can only see the simplicity of its berserk and violent aspects. I have also exhibited these two to their limits. However, watching the cultivators present, they have comprehended different aspects of their states. It is clear that the state of thunder has different aspects as well. It is sufficient for me to grasp these two aspects of the state of thunder and perfectly infuse them into my martial techniques for now. However, in the future, if I want to turn my state into a will, I will definitely have to gain a comprehensive understanding of the state of thunder. Hence, I have to start preparing. I have to understand the state of thunder better. The exchange of pointers continued. Jin Wuji had also participated. The strength he displayed lived up to the reputation of one of the Five Nation Youth Competition's top hundred. Jin Wuji had comprehended the sharp state of metal. Of all the states, regarding sharpness, the state of metal was the strongest. The state of metal had a strong offensive power and an unparalleled sharpness. Few could defend against the might of Jin Wuji's sword. He could pierce even the strongest defense. Jin Wuji's aura was like a sharp sword. The sword chi that he sent out perfectly displayed this sharp characteristic. That cultivator who comprehended the berserk aspect of the state of wind only lasted 15 moves against Jin Wuji. He had pierced a small hole in the berserk sword wind and shattered the tiny tornado. Of course, this was the result achieved after both parties suppressed their strength. If they fought at full strength, the fight would have lasted much longer. A big fight between the two could easily destroy this restaurant made of wood. When Jin Wuji selected this location, he wanted to instill in the cultivators some awareness to control their strength. Otherwise, if they fought at full strength, the situation could easily get out of hand. Brother Jin, I really respect your strength. Your rank in the next Five Nation Youth Competition should increase by 10, He Huan, the swordsman who Jin Wuji defeated, admitted, he felt convinced about his loss. Jin Wuji was very pleased in his heart. However, he still smiled and said humbly, Brother He, you show me too much regard. Your state of wind is unique, it is much stronger than it was three years ago. If you can comprehend another aspect and infuse it into your sword technique, I would not be a match for you. He Huan cupped his hands and said, Merging one aspect of the state is very difficult as it is. If I want to merge in another aspect, I would have to find another high-ranked sword technique. At that time, if Brother Jin has any good sword techniques, we can make an exchange. Deal. The two stepped back. At this moment, most of the people had already exchanged pointers. Some people shifted their gazes to Yu Chengxi. This was the disciple the Supreme Sky Sect was proud of. At the age of 16, she managed to rank within the top 15 of the Five Nation Youth Competition. Now that a year had passed, it was unknown how much stronger she had grown. My name is Lu Meng, I would like to seek Miss Chengxi for your advice. Finally, 
Someone could no longer resist. Lu Meng stood up and expressed his intent to exchange pointers with Yu Changxi. Lu Meng was currently very nervous. The other party was from one of the ten great sects of the Great Jin Nation. She was the disciple of the Supreme Sky Sect Sect Master. She was famous, not only within the Great Jin Nation but also the entire continent. Lu Meng was from a completely different circle than Yu Changxi. Seeing her here was already a stroke of fortune for him. Lu Meng was worried that Yu Chengxi would look down on his strength and reject him. Yu Chengxi had an extraordinary temperament. She revealed a gentle smile on her pretty face as she said softly, I do not dare claim to be able to advise. However, it is fine for us to exchange pointers with each other. Unexpectedly, Yu Chengxi agreed so easily. Some of the cultivators present immediately felt regret. If they had known, they would have asked her earlier. Now, Lu Meng had taken the initiative. They could only stay to the side and watch. Lu Meng cupped his hand happily and said, Miss Yu, please. The fight between Jin Wuji and He Huan had already raised the atmosphere of this gathering very high. Now that Yu Chengxi would make a move, the true high point of this gathering approached. All the outstanding talents of the various nations, who were seated on the fourth floor and against the walls, focused their gazes on the two people in the middle. They did not look away for a moment, even holding their breaths. Xiao Chen was no exception. He had an intense interest in this Yu Chengxi from the Great Jin Nation. He wanted to see what made this genius from the Great Jin Nation different. Everyone witnessed Lu Meng's strength during his previous fight. He was one of the few cultivators who had infused their own insights into their state. He was qualified to have this exchange against Yu Chengxi. The two bowed and paid respects to each other. Then, they slowly stood. When going against Yu Chengxi, Lu Meng did not dare hold back. He retrieved the massive, thick saber from his back and exhibited his state of fire. An evil beast formed above his head. Lu Meng's state of fire rose to its peak. Heat waves radiated throughout the entire area, making the air very dry. Ha! Lu Meng's saber carried the boundless flames as it attacked. Before he was near, the evil beast above him swiftly flew forward. The pure state of fire had formed this evil beast, its might was extraordinary. When it attacked, even a superior grade martial king had to be wary. A smile appeared on Yu Chengxi's pretty face, good move. Boom. Yu Chengxi clenched her dainty hands into fists. When she saw the evil beast surging closer, she did not dodge. Instead, she stepped forward and punched. A spot of the dawn's light appeared on Yu Chengxi's fist. It was like the rays of the rising sun eliminating the final bits of darkness. It was resplendent and dazzling. TL note, Yu Chenchi's name means the first rays of the morning sun. There was a surging energy as the light on her fist exploded. The ferocious, flaming evil beast instantly shattered into countless sparks. The immense force had not dissipated yet. It continued to move forward and attacked Lu Meng, who followed closely behind. Lu Meng's expression changed slightly. He quickly stopped moving and held his ground where he stood. He condensed his aura into a line and circulated all the strength of his body, using his saber to hack apart this fist wind. The light on the fist wind scattered. It formed crystalline beads of light in the vast space of the fourth floor. Yu Chengxi leapt into the air and attacked. She sent another punch flying at Lu Meng. The morning light in the fist wind was dazzling. Under the glow of the faint golden light, a soft layer of light appeared on Yu Chengxi's exquisite body, she looked divine and tyrannical. It was hard to imagine that such a delicate girl with extraordinary temperament could actually emit such strong and tyrannical energy. Bang! 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 Li Meng exhibited his state of fire to its peak. Saber lights danced as he did his best to block the fist wind that descended from above. Yu Chengxi did not even use her state. She merely relied on her dense essence and tyrannical fist winds. 
When Yu Chengxi punched the air, she released the light of the morning sun. She forced Lu Meng back, step after step, he had no way to retaliate. Bang! Another fist wind struck Lu Meng's saber. When the light exploded, he was knocked back by five steps. His complexion seemed somewhat pale. Their difference in strength was too great. There was no way for Lu Meng to fight, Yu Chengxi was in a totally different class. Lu Meng scattered his state of fire and returned his saber to his back. He smiled bitterly and said, I lost. The fame of the Supreme Sky Sect's Morning Sun Fist is well deserved. Yu Chengxi slowly descended from the air. She immediately withdrew her strong aura. A gentle smile appeared on her pretty face, thank you for going easy on me. The people from the top hundred are indeed absolute experts. Moving from the top hundred to the top fifty is a great hurdle. When comparing Jin Wuji's strength with Yu Chenxi's, the difference is clear. Merely the strength of someone from the top fifty is already so powerful. How strong are the people from the top ten exactly? There are really too many geniuses in the continent. Indeed, Lu Meng ranks with the top 10 among us. However, he did not even manage to make Yu Chengxi use half of her strength. Even so, she managed to suppress him to the point where he could not retaliate. The short exchange between the two caused great waves throughout the crowd. They all marveled at Yu Chengxi's strength. This time, no one envied Lu Meng for being the first to exchange pointers with Yu Chengxi. It was not a glorious thing to be suppressed like that by a girl. White robed bladesman, Xiao Chen, how about we exchange pointers? Yu Chengxi smiled as she issued a challenge to Xiao Chen. The crowd was shocked. The moment Yu Chengxi spoke, everyone present felt that it was incredulous. She actually took the initiative to challenge Xiao Chen. The crowd felt that Yu Chengxi thought too highly of Xiao Chen. Although Xiao Chen was strong, in the crowd's opinion, he was not the strongest. At best, he ranked within the top 10 of the people here. The positions of the two were completely different. One was the disciple of sect master from one of the great Jin nation's 10 great sects. The other was a sectless person from the Great Qin Nation. No matter how the crowd looked at it, it should not be Xiao Chen who received the challenge. Hence, everyone felt it was odd. They also felt a trace of jealousy. This was especially so for Jin Wuji. His earlier pleased expression faded completely. Damn it. If she challenged anyone, it should be me. What qualifications does this Xiao Chen have to receive her challenge? Jin Wuji wondered in anger. Honestly, Xiao Chen was quite surprised as well. Based on the strength Yu Chengxi had displayed earlier, she could rely on her pure, dense, and tyrannical essence to defeat Lu Meng without the use of her state. Xiao Chen was sure he was not a match for her. This was especially so when they had to limit their strength. This made things worse for him. If this were a life or death battle, Xiao Chen might still stand a chance to create a situation where no one won. Xiao Chen gently shook his head and said, I am not your match in an exchange of pointers. Furthermore, there is no point in this. In front of the other party's morning sun fist, if Xiao Chen did not make his move without holding back, defense was impossible. He would be no better off than Lu Meng. Such a one-sided exchange of pointers was meaningless. It would not further anyone's understanding of the martial way. Hence, Xiao Chen could not be bothered to accept. When Jin Wuji heard this, he quickly said, Since brother Xiao has admitted his inferiority, let's leave it, Miss Yu. Yu Chengxi ignored Jin Wuji. She stared Xiao Chen, deep in thought. Xiao Chen only said that he could beat her in an exchange of pointers. He did not say that he was weaker than her. In other words, he said this space is too small for them, there was no way they could battle without holding back. Jin Wuji watched as Yu Chengxi continued to stare at Xiao Chen and ignore him. He felt somewhat embarrassed, he felt that he had lost face. 
Jin Wuji's hatred for Xiao Chen intensified. This fellow had repeatedly placed him in a bad position. In the future, he had to find an opportunity to settle this account with him. Bang! Just as Jin Wuji pondered, a large hole suddenly appeared in the roof above them. Yu Chengxi had flown out. Despite everyone's shocked gazes, Yu Chengxi had punched a large hole in the roof. White robed bladesman, Xiao Chen, I understand what you mean. Do you dare come up now? Yu Chengxi's melodious voice rang from the roof. Xiao Chen smiled to himself. Not only did this girl have a high cultivation, but she was also intelligent, and her personality was straightforward. Because Yu Chengxi wanted to fight Xiao Chen, she did not hesitate to knock a hole in the roof of the restaurant. She did not care about what the others thought. Xiao Chen quite appreciated such a personality. Since Yu Chengxi wants to fight, I shall give her a fight. Bang! A purple light rushed up, and another large hole instantly appeared above everyone. The sun shone in, Xiao Chen had gone up as well. I understand now. They wanted to have a hearty fight. This place is too small and would not result in an enjoyable fight. Since Yu Chengxi challenged Xiao Chen like this, Xiao Chen's strength might be much stronger than we thought. Ha ha, there is a good show to watch. Come, let's go out to watch. A group of cultivators jumped out of the window excitedly. They leapt to the top of the other buildings on the street, hoping to find a good vantage point. Young Master Jin, we are going as well. Are you coming? Su Xiao Xiao asked softly as she looked at Jin Wuji. Jin Wuji was now extremely depressed. However, he did not dare show it in front of Su Xiao Xiao. After all, she was someone that even his master did not dare disrespect. Miss Xiao Xiao, you should go first. I will come in a while, Jin Wuji smiled embarrassedly. Soon, only Jin Wuji was left on the vast fourth floor. He sat alone at the table. Jin Wuji's intention with this gathering was to increase his influence in the various nations. Especially since he managed to invite Yu Chengxi, his reputation would increase. Ke Shi Ching Fa Zan Dao Jie Yi Bu, Wan Quan Chao Hu Lata Jie Ge Zhu Jiao De Zhang Kong. However, now that the situation had escalated, it was beyond his control, the intended main character of this ever. All of Jin Wuji's meticulous preparations ended up for someone else, allowing Xiao Chen to become someone the others looked up to. Instead, the rest had forgotten him. Bang! Jin Wuji shattered the chair beside him with a palm strike. A venomous look appeared in his eyes. He said to himself, I should go and take a look. I hope that Yu Chengxi would not pull her punches, making this Xiao Chen look like a clown. That will help me vent my anger. The restaurant where the gathering was held was the most bustling restaurant on the Greenwind Island. The area it occupied was the most bustling area within the city. Because of the Savannah King's treasure, a large number of cultivators had come to Greenwind Island. When Xiao Chen and Yu Chengxi appeared on the roof, they immediately attracted the attention of the large number of cultivators below. After that, the outstanding talents of the various nations all appeared. This attracted more attention. Before the two started fighting, a dense crowd had filled the streets. Furthermore, there was a continuous stream of people leaping onto the buildings of similar heights, wanting to discover what was happening. Who are these two people? How come they attracted so many spectators? I seem to see the great Chu nations looming among the crowd. The Great Sha Nation Sword Maniac, He Huan is there too. There is also Shadowless Sword, Lu Xiaohe, and the Heavenly Sword Gates Jin Wuji. Everyone on the ground discussed what was happening. Although they could sense that the identities of these two were extraordinary, they would not attract the attention of so many outstanding talents. Otherwise, they could not figure out who they were. This continued until someone clearly saw Yu Chengxi's pretty face. He said in shock, Yu Chengxi. It's the Supreme Sky Sects Yu Chengxi. 
She is one of the most famous outstanding talents in the great Jin nation. She became a martial king at the age of 16. Unexpectedly, she came to the Greenwind Island. No wonder she has attracted the attention of so many outstanding talents. So, she is Yu Chengxi. However, who is the male? For him to fight Yu Chengxi, he should be pretty strong. The way he is dressed reminds me of the great Qin nation's white-robed bladesman, Xiao Chen. For him to perk Yu Chengxi's interest, he should be the real deal. However, even if he is the white-robed bladesman, his strength and fame differ too much from Yu Chenchi's. The crowd below finally figured out Xiao Chen and Yu Chenchi's identities. Their interest in this fight soared. The crowd occupied every space on the surrounding rooftops. Yu Chengxi looked at Xiao Chen. She revealed a faint smile and said softly, White-robed bladesman, Xiao Chen, are you satisfied now? Xiao Chen also revealed a faint smile on his calm face. He said, just call me Xiao Chen. There is no need to add the words, white-robed bladesman, every time. Yu Chengxi nodded slight and mumbled Xiao Chen's name to herself a few times. After a while, she said, all right, I will call you Xiao Chen in the future. However, I still feel that adding the words, white-robed bladesman, make you sound more imposing. Ha ha, I am going to start. Don't disappoint me, white-robed bladesman. Yu Chengxi smiled gently and pushed off the roof. Her perfect body appeared in the air, and she gracefully clenched her fist. Boom. The dazzling light of daybreak exploded in the sky. The ferocious and tyrannical fist wind headed for Xiao Chen from within the light. Boundless thunderclouds quickly started churning in the sky above Xiao Chen. Crackles of thunder rang. Xiao Chen exhibited his state of thunder, infused with a strand of holy might, to its limit. Break. Following that, a bolt of lightning descended. Xiao Chen drew the lunar shadow saber instantly and chopped the fist wind flying at him into half. The divided fist wind brushed by Xiao Chen's shoulders on both sides. Then, they blasted two huge holes in the roof. There were countless sounds of tiles shattering. Boom, boom, boom. A resplendent light lit up on Yu Chenchi's body like the light that eliminated the final bits of darkness. Strands of light exploded out, and the intense fist wind started to spin quickly. It looked like Yu Chengxi fired cannon shells at Xiao Chen, each faster and stronger than the one before. Xiao Chen turned grave. He stood firmly on the roof without moving. He could not retreat at this moment. Otherwise, the torrent of attacks would rain down upon him. Xiao Chen was as calm as still water, continuously executing drawing the saber. Each time he swung his saber it was like a bolt of lightning flashing, chopping the ferocious fist winds in half. The berserk fist winds flew everywhere through the air. Occasionally, the light in the fist wind exploded, creating many holes in the broad roof. The strong winds caused the shattered tiles to scatter. Yu Chengxi gave off a dazzling golden light in the air. She looked like a miniature sun. When everyone looked at her, they felt a mild pain in their eyes. The Supreme Sky Sect's morning sun fist is indeed powerful. It can exhibit such might merely using the surging essence. I wonder if she infused it with a state, how much stronger would it be? However, this white-robed bladesman is pretty strong as well. He has clearly only comprehended the state of thunder to small perfection. Yet the might of his state is more ferocious than a regular person's great perfection state. Each of his saber strikes reaches Mach 3 in an instant. With the aid of his state, he can unexpectedly block the morning sun fist's continuous strikes. A few experienced cultivators evaluated as they watched the intense battle. Break. Xiao Chen chopped down and split another fist wind in half. He stayed where he was, without moving, like a tree holding up the sky, rooted to the roof. Hu Kai. Just at this moment, that dazzling figure in the air flashed and disappeared. Not only did the light disappear, but Yu Chenchi's exquisite body also disappeared. 
That tyrannical aura also instantly disappeared. It was like Yu Chengxi vanished into nothing, it was very strange. Xiao Chen's expression changed. He looked suspiciously toward the front before he stabbed his saber forward. Black light flashed on the saber's blade, its snow-white body instantly became pitch black. The heavenly weapon re-emerged. With a thought, Xiao Chen infused his essence into the saber. A bright 6.6 meter long saber light immediately formed. Xiao Chen issued a war cry and thrust the lunar shadow saber forward as if he tried to break through space. Very good, you correctly guessed my position. Now, it's a matter of whether you can block this or not, Yu Chengxi exploded with light as her melodious voice rang out. Boom. Suddenly a resplendent light appeared in front of Xiao Chen. A fist wind exploded out from within the light, heading for the lunar shadow saber while carrying a thick essence. Bang. 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 The two extremely strong forces exploded. The entire roof of the restaurant was immediately wrecked. Countless tiles and pieces of wood rushed into the sky. Xiao Chen felt a huge and pure energy on his saber. This energy did not have any attributes, it only carried an extremely tyrannical aura. This energy crashed around in the meridians in Xiao Chen's arm. Even though Xiao Chen cultivated till the dragon tendon tiger bone, it still pained his meridians. Xiao Chen clenched his teeth. With a thought, the purple qi whirlpool in his dantian rapidly spun. The purple essence liquid in the qi whirlpool trickled out and flowed through Xiao Chen's meridians before gathering at his right arm. Pu Kai. After Xiao Chen broke through to superior grade martial saint, the purity and quantity of his essence doubled. With a single thought, he could instantly gather a large amount of essence. Countless purple energy gathered and swallowed the essence belonging to Yu Chengxi. The gushing essence did not lose any strength and continued to pour into the lunar shadow saber. The originally dim saber light, suppressed by Yu Chengxi, brightened once again. This knocked back Yu Chengxi's energy. Xiao Chen took advantage of this chance to instantly merge in the state of massacre from the Scarlet Throne. Instantly, the berserk state of thunder gained a resilient and unstoppable offensive attribute. The state of massacre and state of thunder merged once again. Break. Xiao Chen shouted, and a crackle of thunder came from the thunderclouds above him. The saber light struck out and forced Yu Chengxi to retreat. Yu Chengxi revealed mild astonishment on her pretty face. However, more than astonishment, there was pleasant surprise. She revealed a faint smile and said, he actually hid another type of state. However, this is not all the morning sun fist is capable of. Scatter. Boom. 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 As Yu Chengxi retreated, hazy red clouds appeared behind her. As the clouds hit her body, she punched out three times. These three punches had a vast light on them, they appeared tyrannical. Under the baptism of the red clouds, they looked immensely powerful as they surged forward. Xiao Chen merged the two kinds of states and used the saber qi tempered by the might of the heavenly weapon to break each of the punches. Day breaks after the sun rises. This should be the might of the daybreak. What a tyrannical fist technique. Xiao Chen thought to himself. He kicked a floating tile and chased after it. Yu Chenqi's fist winds were ferocious. He could only stand a chance in close combat. Within the hazy red clouds, Xiao Chen and Yu Chengxi darted around. Shouting could be heard from within the red clouds. Occasionally, light exploded, or lightning flickered. The two became faster as time went by, fists flew and the saber flashed. In the blink of an eye, they exchanged more than a hundred moves. Xiao Chen held his ground against that intense storm of fist wind. His saber qi merged with the state of massacre broke through the opponent's web of fists, somewhat threatening Yu Chengxi. The scene of Yu Chengxi defeating Xiao Chen, which Jin Wuji hoped for, did not happen. Instead, they seemed to be on par, neither being snatching the victory. The white-robed bladesman is indeed strong. 
he can fight the long famous Yu Chengxi to this point. This is a remarkable accomplishment. Indeed, the morning sun fist is one of the rare tyrannical fist techniques. It is very close to being a heaven-ranked fist technique. To force Yu Chengxi to use the power of daybreak, he is pretty good. In the next five nation youth competition, this white robed bladesman might make it within the top hundred. When Jin Wuji heard the praises the crowd had for Xiao Chen, he felt even angrier. All of this should be his. However, Xiao Chen had snatched it away. Bang! The red cloud in the air scattered. Xiao Chen and Yu Chengxi reappeared in everyone's vision. The two appeared to be slightly injured. However, they were only superficial injuries. It was clear that the two had held back. This was merely an exchange of pointers, there was no need to fight to the death. Yu Chengxi stood upright in the air. She revealed a satisfied expression. She said softly, let's consider this a draw. White robed bladesman, if you have time in the future, you can come to the Supreme Sky Sect to spar with me. Xiao Chen smiled faintly and said, next time, I will make you use your full strength. I will take my leave first. On the surface, the two had indeed fought to a draw. However, Xiao Chen knew that his opponent still had not used her state. Yet, he had already used both his states and still could not gain an advantage. Calling it a draw took advantage of Yu Chengxi. Even Xiao Chen felt embarrassed. So, he quickly took his leave. Yu Chengxi watched as Xiao Chen left. She muttered to herself, when I came this time, First Marshal Uncle told me to pay attention to the geniuses of the various nations. This Xiao Chen should fit the requirements. Miss Yu, are you okay? If you are, we can discuss news about the Daybreak Flower in detail later. Laughter came from next to Yu Chengxi. Jin Wuji had flown over with a smile on his face. Yu Chengxi withdrew her gaze and smiled gently. She replied, Many thanks for young Master Jin's concern. They are merely a few superficial injuries, they are not problematic. Yu Chenqi's words were very simple. She always maintained a smile. When she spoke, she did so politely. However, this made Jin Wuju feel a sense of distance. Jin Wuji wanted to shatter this distance. However, Yu Chenqi's polite tone would always bring his efforts back to square one. This made Jin Wuji's attempt to draw closer to her a failure. The two descended from the sky and returned to the restaurant. Then, Jin Wuji generously compensated the restaurant for the damages. The cultivators who attended the gathering slowly descended as well. After they spoke to the two out of courtesy, they took their leave. All of Jin Wuji's preparations had benefited someone else, greatly displeasing him. Fortunately, Yu Chengxi had not left yet. If he could establish some form of relationship with her, then what happened earlier would not matter to him. Thinking of this, Jin Wuji decided to strike the iron while it was hot. Miss Yu, there are some booths downstairs, let's go down and have our talk. Yu Chengxi frowned slightly. A trace of disgust flashed on her face as she said indifferently, we will talk again at night. I am a little tired now. It was difficult for Xiao Chen and the others to find empty rooms in this city. However, by relying on Jin Dabao, they managed to find three empty, good quality rooms in another restaurant. The few sat at a tea table. Jin Dabao gently sipped his tea as he smiled, old brother Xiao Chen, it seems like you are in the limelight again. You even managed to obtain a draw with Yu Chengxi, and she has such a high opinion of you. It is going to be hard for you not to be famous, even if you don't want to. Xiao Chen felt doubtful. He asked, is this Yu Chengxi that famous? Jin Dabao smiled and said, more than you think. In the previous Five Nation Youth competition, she was one of the rare few that entered the top 50. Furthermore, she was the youngest female contender. She has excellent talent and an extraordinary appearance and temperament. Her name is known throughout the continent. With news of your draw against her, I guarantee that there will be a queue of people, 
five kilometers long, wanting to challenge you if you go to the great Jin nation. This was unexpectedly such a problematic issue. Xiao Chen had not thought of this. However, he had no intentions of going to the great Jin nation for a very long time, so there was no need to worry about this for now. That's right, are you here this time for the Savannah King's treasure? Xiao Chen collected his thoughts and asked. Su Xiao Xiao nodded and said, the main reason we are here is the Black Dragon Group's matter. However, discussions are at a stalemate. So, we can go and try our luck. Fatty Jin took out a map and passed it to Xiao Chen. The rough location of the Chinran Island is there. You should take a look. If you have this, you can study it. Ha ha. If you find anything worthwhile, remember to get my help. The group chatted for a while more before Jin Dabao and Su Xiao Xiao took their leave. When it was about midnight, Xiao Chen emerged from his state of cultivation. He carefully examined the map Jin Dabao gave him and compared it to the treasure map. This was a sea chart. They clearly marked the blurry routes on the treasure map. When Xiao Chen looked at it, he understood everything. After a long time, Xiao Chen put the map away. He said softly, I will go and take a look tomorrow to see the huge waves. I wonder what kind of situation can result in a martial monarch's difficulty of breaking through them. Early the next morning, Xiao Chen entrusted Xiao Bai to Su Xiao Xiao. Then he quickly headed for the east end of the Greenwind Island. The Greenwind Island occupied the borders of the Boundless Sea. The surface of the sea there was not as calm as the coastal seas. There were the occasional strong winds and massive, surging waves. Xiao Chen used the gravity spell to fly high in the air. He quickly moved forward, occasionally taking out the map to check his direction before continuing. Along the way, Xiao Chen ran into many cultivators going the same way. These cultivators were mostly inferior grade martial kings. Occasionally, he saw a peak martial king. After an hour, Xiao Chen finally arrived at his destination. Many cultivators had already gathered there, they were all there to scout ahead. Xiao Chen looked forward and took a deep breath. He only saw huge waves rising to the sky, surging strongly. He could not even measure how high they were. The walls of water pulled at their surroundings, forming ferocious undercurrents. Occasionally, huge whirlpools appeared. The surface of the ocean was scarlet. When one looked carefully, they would see a large number of sea creatures crushed into a pool of blood by the whirlpool, they had no means of resisting. No wonder large ships refused to stop here. Even the strong warships would not dare stop here in fear of the ferocious undercurrents and whirlpools. Xiao Chen looked up, the clouds hid the peaks of the massive waves. There even seemed to be waves above the sea of clouds. Boom, boom, boom. The waves crashing resounded relentlessly. It was ear-splitting like an unending chain of thunder reverberating on the surface of the sea. Xiao Chen flew around the huge waves and discovered that the waves formed four walls around Qianduan Island. When they combined, it looked like a cage, trapping Qianduan Island within. There are only four walls of water. Does that mean that, as long as I can pass over the barrier of these boundless waves, I can pass through? Xiao Chen wondered to himself. Although Xiao Chen knew that it could not be this simple, he still wanted to try. He used the gravity spell and flew upwards. Hu, hu. Strong winds blew past his ears, Xiao Chen had already exhausted a significant amount of his essence. He had unknowingly flown close to 10,000 meters high. However, the massive waves about a thousand meters above him showed no signs of weakening. They surged like before, creating an ear-splitting noise. Xiao Chen flew for another 5,000 meters. The air was already very thin. The strong wind that blew beside his ear became even more intense. Xiao Chen no longer dared to fly higher. The higher he flew, the thinner the air became, the amount of essence he exhausted also increased. If Xiao Chen continued flying up, 
he would probably soon enter the void and arrive at the mysterious world above the heavens. That was not a place that Xiao Chen could go yet. However, the huge waves still showed no signs of weakening. They continued to surge upward like they would break through the void and extended all the way to the mysterious world above the heavens. Ha ha, young man, stop flying up. These huge waves have changed the natural laws of heaven and earth. No matter how high you fly, you are actually still within a small realm. Just as Xiao Chen was feeling doubtful, a straightforward voice entered his ears. When he turned around, he saw that it was a middle-aged man in black robes with a large saber. He looked very crude, his aura was simple, but his strength was unfathomable. The huge waves have already weakened significantly. Come back in another half a month. With your strength, you should be able to break through his huge wave then. The middle-aged man did not wait for Xiao Chen to respond. He simply headed to the surface of the sea like a sharp arrow piercing through the air, he vanished from Xiao Chen's sight very quickly. Xiao Chen laughed in self-mockery, it looks like I did something foolish. Time to go down, then. I will return after circling this place once more. I do not believe this person's words are false, I will come back in another half a month. Xiao Chen took out an inferior grade spirit stone and absorbed its spiritual energy to replenish his exhausted essence as he headed down. Right before Xiao Chen approached the surface of the sea, he drained the spirit stone in his hand, his essence had, more or less, recovered. Bang! Just at that moment, a multicolored light broke through the huge waves, flying out from the inside of the Chinran Island and heading far away. It's a secret treasure. Many cultivators below were astonished before they chased after it in droves. Why are there secret treasures flying out already? This huge wave has weakened ahead of schedule. That middle-aged bladesman, who had left, flew back again. He moved like an arrow fired through the air. Everywhere he passed, he seemed to create a hole in the air. The middle-aged man looked at the secret treasure that shot into the air. Then he muttered to himself for a while before chasing after it with lightning speed. Several peak medial grade martial kings stopped when they saw the middle-aged man. They said in shock, that is the bloody bladesman, Sun Guangquan. Unexpectedly, he is here as well. Someone to the said exclaimed, Sun Guangquan. The one of the ten great bladesmen of the ancient desolate land, Sun Guangquan. Aside from him, who else can it be? There is that dragon tooth saber. Rumor has it that his entire body is a secret treasure, his strength is unfathomable. If a martial monarch does not appear, no one can match him. We can forget about this secret treasure. He is already so strong. Yet he came here to compete for the fortuitous encounter in the Chianduan island with us. It looks like we cannot obtain anything this time. Never mind, since the first secret treasure already flew out, there will be a second one. We will see the situation at that time. Now that you mention it, the situation is strange. There is still half a month before the huge waves completely weaken. It began earlier this time. The secret treasure that broke through the huge waves and rushed off attracted all the nearby cultivators. Some of the cultivators who had just left also rushed back. Xiao Chen stayed to the side and listened for a long time before he understood the situation. It turned out that every time the huge waves weakened, some secret treasure would fly out from the Chinran Island. When secret treasures stopped appearing, that was the moment the huge wave had completely weakened. Bang! While Xiao Chen pondered, a loud sound came from the south side of Chinran Island. It was another secret treasure flying out. When the many cultivators heard it, they all chased after it. There were no less than a hundred people, and they were all martial kings. There were simply too many people competing for the secret treasure. Even if Xiao Chen managed to snatch it, it would be hard to leave. Hence, Xiao Chen lost interest. I should test these waves strength, Xiao Chen thought to himself. 
When the strength of the huge waves weakens, I will be better prepared. This will prevent the situation of being unprepared and missing my chance to enter the island. Xiao Chen's figure flashed through the air a few times, and he arrived before the north side of the huge waves. The intense waves rushed up restlessly. It did not look like they had the possibility of stopping. Furthermore, it looked like they had inexhaustible strength. The sound of the gushing water was like a huge army marching, rumbling relentlessly in Xiao Chen's ears. There was also an extremely strong will contained within the huge waves. The closer Xiao Chen got, the clearer he could feel this strong will. This is the endless will of water. Xiao Chen said softly as he looked gravely at the waves and felt the will. They gushed unceasingly, endless huge waves with an extraordinary will of water. Xiao Chen thought to himself, it is possible that the martial sage that once ruled the devil savanna was not an ordinary martial sage. This martial sage could change the natural laws of heaven and earth for such a long time, it's might not vanishing after a thousand years. He was very possibly just a step away from becoming a martial emperor. When Xiao Chen was a hundred meters away from the huge waves, he stopped. He clenched his fist and circulated the dragon and tiger body sculpting art. Instantly, immense strength poured into his fist. The Qi whirlpool in Xiao Chen's Dantian also started spinning rapidly. The purple liquid flowed along his meridians. His essence and physical strength instantly merged. Ha! Xiao Chen released a loud war cry and pushed against the air. He turned into a purple arc of light and moved a hundred meters in the blink of an eye. There was the illusion of a tiger and dragon in his fist wind. The dragon hissed, and the tiger roared, causing Xiao Chen's momentum to rise to its peak. This was the final move of the great dragon tiger fist, dragon hisses tiger roars. By merging physical strength and essence, plus using the great dragon tiger fist, Xiao Chen's punch achieved 100,000 kilograms of force. It was sufficient to blast away half of a mountain. Bang! The fist wind was like a roar of thunder, causing the air to tremble. Space was like white paper tearing layer by layer. Xiao Chen's punch carrying 100,000 kilograms of force struck the huge waves violently. The massive waves acted like a solid metal wall. There was a dull sound, and a large hole opened in the waves. However, before Xiao Chen could rejoice, the hole quickly mended, becoming solid again. A wave reflected the intense force, and Xiao Chen's organs trembled. He flew back like a fired cannonball. Xiao Chen had prepared long ago, his body spun through the air. After a long time, he slowly dissipated the force. Xiao Chen's complexion was incredibly pale. He stopped spinning and looked at the huge wave. He muttered, not fast enough. Insufficient explosive power. The unending will of water will give me, at most, a second to react. After it weakens, I might get two seconds, but I should have, at best, three seconds. Bang! Just as Xiao Chen muttered to himself, a hole suddenly appeared on the huge wall before him. A secret treasure flickering with a multicolored light launched from the hole. Xiao Chen's expression turned grave, and he quickly chased it. At this moment, he was the only person in front of this huge wave, and the secret treasure was so close to him. Since there was an opportunity, he should snatch it first and play it by ear after that. Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art, Azure Dragon Tail Whip. Xiao Chen executed his heaven-ranked movement technique. He moved like an azure flood dragon swinging its tail in the sky. He managed to grab the secret treasure flicking with a multicolored light quickly. So, it is an inner vest. Based on the aura of this inner vest, it should be a top quality inferior grade secret treasure, Xiao Chen said softly to himself. According to that introductory book on secret treasures Xiao Chen once found in the Fire Li sect remnants, secret treasures were separated by grades. From the lowest to the highest, they were inferior grade, medial grade, superior grade, and immortal grade. 
Secret treasures like the clear wind robes, windwalk shoes, and the jade pendant on his chest were all inferior grade secret treasures. Furthermore, there were lousier ones, they were not worth too much. It was very hard to see the truly valuable secret treasures at a regular auction. Brat, leave the secret treasure behind. This is not for someone like you, a superior grade martial saint. Shoo, shoo. Some people had noticed the appearance of this secret treasure. They quickly headed over to Xiao Chen. Based on their auras, they were medial grade martial kings. Some of the cultivators who chased after the first two secret treasures saw that Xiao Chen was only a superior grade martial saint. They felt that he was easier to deal with and went for him. Since Xiao Chen had already obtained the secret treasure, there was no reason for him to give it away. Xiao Chen ignored that group of people and turned into a purple flash of light, rapidly heading away. A superior grade martial saint obtained a secret treasure and is trying to run, chase him. The group of people did not believe that a mere superior grade martial saint could be faster than them. They laughed coldly. However, not long after the chase began, only half of the initial hundred odd people were left. The figure they chased darted up and down like an azure dragon. Xiao Chen's speed was shocking fast. Furthermore, there were no signs of him stopping to rest. It was hard to imagine a superior grade martial saint could be this fast. Lightning evasion. Boom. 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 Bolts of lightning flashed across the surface of the sea. Xiao Chen's position changed with each bolt of lightning. In a short while, half of the 50 people remaining were left behind. When Xiao Chen's spiritual sense felt that there were only 20 odd people remaining behind him, he smiled and activated the windwalk shoes. His speed increased by 20%, and he achieved more than twice the speed of sound. He was only slightly short of reaching Mach 3. Damn. How is this brat so fast? He is unexpectedly at Mach 3. I can't catch up with him. I can't continue to chase him either. Cultivators who are not wind attributed would find it difficult to maintain such speed for a long time. Never mind, there will be other secret treasures. I won't chase anymore. When Xiao Chen's speed increased explosively again, the cultivators who could barely keep up with Xiao Chen decreased by half again. Now, only four or five people trailed behind. Two superior grade martial kings and three peak medial grade martial kings, I still cannot deal with them. I should continue to run. Xiao Chen thought to himself. Xiao Chen executed the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art to its limits on the surface of the sea. He did not care about the exhaustion of his essence as he sped away. After six hours, out of the five people behind him, there were only two wind attributed cultivators left. The other three had lost their patience. That brat seems to have stopped. He finally stopped. He must have run out of essence. Even if he has a better movement technique, how can he compare with us martial kings regarding quantity of essence? Come. The two people chasing relentlessly after Xiao Chen had exhausted a large amount of their essence. When they saw Xiao Chen slowing down and coming to a stop within a fog in the distance, they could not help but express their joy. In the fog, Xiao Chen sat on the surface of the sea quietly. His clothes did not get wet at all. The smiles on the two's faces broadened. They laughed loudly, Brat, you are still pretty wise. After you realized that you could not run anymore, you stopped. Hand over the secret treasure. You are just a superior grade martial saint, why are you trying to join in the fun? Hand the secret treasure over, and you can scam. Otherwise, don't blame me for bullying the weak. Xiao Chen slowly stood and turned around. Then, he tossed aside a completely exhausted medial grade spirit stone. Xiao Chen looked at the two and smiled faintly, since when did I say I couldn't run anymore? The two of you can forget about leaving. Arrogant. The middle-aged man on the left was a medial-grade martial king. 
He snorted coldly and stomped heavily on the water's surface. Bang! The surface exploded, and a dense, spinning pillar of water rose into the air. It tore through the air as it fired at Xiao Chen. Break! Xiao Chen shouted and instantly drew the lunar shadow saber with his right hand. The flickering purple saber light instantly chopped the spinning pillar of water in half. Xiao Chen had broken this move easily in an instant. Drawing the saber. When the two middle-aged cultivators saw the water pillar chopped in half, they thought suspiciously. Drawing the saber was the most ordinary martial technique. How could it have such might? Furthermore, he performed it casually and moved as he willed. The two immediately became cautious. This person might not be an ordinary superior grade martial saint. He might be one of those demonic geniuses who could defeat opponents of higher cultivation realms than them. However, the two could not leave either. They were full-fledged martial kings. If they were frightened away by a superior grade martial saint, they would be too embarrassed. Furthermore, the two still thought that victory was at hand. They just needed to be a little more cautious. The lure of the secret treasure was too strong. The person on the left used swords. He was a wind-attributed medial grade martial king who had not comprehended the state of wind. The person on the right used fists and legs. He was a wind-attributed superior grade martial king. He had not comprehended the state of wind either. Earlier, when the two chased Xiao Chen, he had already used his spiritual sense to check their cultivations. Then, he confirmed it again with his own eyes. To me, a cultivator that has not comprehended a state is nothing to fear, no matter how high their cultivation. My essence has already been restored. I will deal with the person on the left first. Wu Kui transforms to Qi. The instant Xiao Chen brandished his saber, an ancient divine Wukui tree appeared from nowhere. Then, it transformed into strands of purple saber chi, flying at the swordsman on the left. Kai, Kai, Kai. The saber light danced and cut across the water, causing walls of water to rise. The sea became rough as a result. Can the saber chi of a martial saint be denser than a martial king's sword chi? Break. The swordsman laughed coldly, and his sword trembled as he sent out countless dense sword chi. Dang. 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 The saber chi and sword chi clashed. What surprised the middle-aged swordsman was that his sword chi was not as dense as the saber chi. When the weapon chi clashed, the saber chi sliced a significant number of sword chi in half. Chi breaks wukui. Xiao Chen shouted and did not give his opponent a chance to react. He gathered all the saber chi and formed them into a resplendent 17 meters long saber chi. The saber chi dazzled and carried the might of thunder. The boundless electricity surged. Thunder roared in the sky, the boundless clouds churned. When the resplendent saber chi moved past the water, it created two walls of water on either side. By Murin, are you not going to make a move? The middle-aged swordsman shouted at the superior grade martial king in fear. By Murin smiled gently and said, I'm coming, don't panic. Boom. As Xiao Chen controlled the boundless saber chi and rushed forward, an intense fist wind came at him from his left. A tornado formed in the fist wind. It then exploded. This fist could even make the air explode. Xiao Chen did not bother to look. He continued to control his saber chi without reducing its power. Just before the fist wind was about to strike him, he used his left fist to welcome it. The images of a tiger and dragon circled Xiao Chen's arm as he punched. The air tore apart like layers of white paper pierced through the middle. Bang! The two fists clashed, and a huge force was transmitted. Bai Murin felt his arm go numb, and he was quickly knocked back. The pure force made his entire arm feel like it was falling apart. If it were not for his exquisite arms and legs, this punch might have crippled his arm. Damn it! That was at least 50,000 kilograms of force. I underestimated his strength. 
by Muran thought to himself in horror. He pushed off the water's surface and quickly moved back. The huge force created 10 meter high waves. By Muran moved back nearly a thousand meters before he slowly came to a stop and completely dissipated the force. When the middle-aged swordsman saw the punch knock by Muran back, he thought to himself, that shocking saber chi is already right before me, it looks like I cannot rely on this person. Unwavering determination appeared in the middle-aged swordsman's eyes. He bellowed, and the essence in his entire body surged forth. A wall of water, 10 meters high, rode up from the sea under him. I don't believe that you, a martial saint, can compete with me regarding essence, even if you have comprehended a state. Break for me. Break. Break. A resplendent light lit up on the sword, raising the wind attributed essence to its peak. An intense storm of sword chi appeared around the blade. Pu si. The sword hacked forward, trying to block Xiao Chen's chi breaks wukui. Xiao Chen's expression did not change. Suddenly the purple saber chi alternated between a red and purple light. He had infused the state of massacre from the scarlet throne. Scatter. The saber chi was like ferocious lightning as he carried an overwhelming offense power. It broke the storm of sword chi the middle-aged swordsman sent out like snapping dead branches on a tree. Xiao Chen's aura was like a gushing river. The might of his one saber strike completely shattered the middle-aged swordsman's sword technique. The swordsman's aura was spent, he had no hopes of turning things around. Walls of water shot up from the sea. Xiao Chen pierced through the chain of waves and arrived before the middle-aged swordsman. He brandished his saber and sent out many strands of saber chi. Dang! 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 The middle-aged swordsman swung his sword and could barely block. At this moment, he despaired. He abandoned his thoughts of snatching the secret treasure and just wanted to find a chance to escape. One person's momentum was strong. The longer the fight continued, the stronger it became. The other's momentum diminished and only wanted to flee. The result was easy to imagine. Soon, countless wounds of various sizes appeared on the swordsman's body. Blood trickled from the wounds and dripped into the sea, turning the blue sea bloody red. Boom. As the two fought, a shocking aura appeared on Xiao Chen's left. The sound of wind exploded resounding in his ear non-stop. Following the explosion of the wind, pillars of water rose up from the sea. My move at full power contains 75,000 kilograms of force. Let's see if you can block this, by Murin's eyes were bloodshot as he thought to himself. Xiao Chen's saber technique paused, and his attack slowed. The middle-aged swordsman rejoiced. He finally managed to hold out until Bai Murin made his move so he could take advantage of this opportunity to leave quickly. When Xiao Chen saw the middle-aged swordsman fleeing, he shook his head. A mocking smile appeared on his face. Xiao Chen relaxed his right hand, letting go of the saber. Then, he spun around and sent a punch, welcoming Bai Murin's full power attack. His physical strength merged with his essence, this fist contained 100,000 kilograms of force. Bang! Bai Muran vomited a mouthful of blood and flew back like a launched cannonball. His pale face had an extremely horrified expression. 100,000 kilograms of force. How is that possible? Xiao Chen turned and stretched his hand out, grabbing the lunar shadow saber before it fell, grasping it firmly in his hand again. Listening to the sword. With a thought, the snow-white lunar shadow saber turned pitch black, becoming the supreme heavenly weapon once again. Comparing the attacks of a heavenly weapon against an earth-ranked spirit weapon, there was an increase of 20%. Of course, the amount of energy exhausted would increase as well. Rushing thunder roars, breaking a thousand soldiers. The boundless thunderclouds in the sky churned quickly. Xiao Chen did not wait for the electric whirlpool to form completely before making his move. 
To deal with this stray dog, there was no need for him to exhibit the full power of the rushing thunder roars. The middle-aged swordsman who quickly fled suddenly heard a startling crack of thunder behind him. He could not hold back his curiosity, and he turned around. What he saw was unforgettable. Thunder clouds churned in the air. It looked like an opening to the void in the sky. A knight, flickering with golden, electric light, flew down from the void. Pu Si. Before the swordsman could turn back, the electric knight arrived before him like a flash of lightning. The knight pierced through the back of the swordsman, creating a large hole before the knight instantly exploded. An intense shockwave caused a large water pillar to shoot up and toss the middle-aged swordsman into the sky. Xiao Chen's figure flashed and grabbed the middle-aged swordsman the instant the pillar of water fell. Then, he slowly descended to the surface of the sea. The middle-aged swordsman vomited a few mouthfuls of blood. Then, he smiled weakly, this old man has wandered the continent for so many years. I really did not expect to find defeat at the hands of a martial saint. Xiao Chen said softly, if the both of you did your best together, you would not have had to fear death and would still have a chance to retreat safely. Unfortunately, you could not accomplish that. You can't blame others for your death. After Xiao Chen spoke, he used a palm strike to end his misery. Then, he retrieved the spatial ring of the other party. Kai. The instant the swordsman died, a large strand of scarlet light headed for the mark on Xiao Chen's forehead. The scarlet throne in his sea of consciousness trembled continuously, it seemed extremely excited. What a strong killing intent. Killing just him gives me about as much as ten demonic beasts of similar strength. This person must have killed a lot of people. As the throne trembled, the cells in Xiao Chen's entire body could not help but grow excited. He felt as though he would sink into depravity. No, I have to control this feeling. Otherwise, I will end up becoming a slave to this throne. A determined look flashed in Xiao Chen's gaze. He decisively cut off the sense of exhilaration that he should not have. Then, he quickly made his way to Bai Muren. Bai Muren's right arm had withstood a combined total of 175,000 kilograms of force. It was now completely crippled. All of the bones around the joints had been crushed into powder. Even with miraculous medicine, without half a year to recuperate, his arm would remain crippled and useless. In fact, even if it were Xiao Chen or someone with similar accomplishments of his physical body, he would find suffering two strikes of over 75,000 kilograms difficult to deal with. This was why Xiao Chen had used different hands to deal with his opponent's earlier attack. Bai Muren ran for his life on the unstable sea. Occasionally, he would turn his head to see Xiao Chen chasing after him. Xiao Chen was not in a rush. He summoned the Scarlet Throne and sat on it leisurely. The Scarlet Throne moved at Mach 2, allowing him to chase after Bai Muren comfortably. After six hours, Bai Muren's essence started to drain. His speed looked like it was slowing down. On the other hand, Xiao Chen had only exhausted a little of the pool of blood in the Scarlet Throne. The purple Qi whirlpool in his Dantian slowly refilled itself. It is time to end this. The sun was setting, dusk approached. Xiao Chen completely lost the patience to continue playing with him. He got up and pushed off the scarlet clouds. Roaming Dragon's Nine Transformations, Clear Wind Chop. Suddenly, nine cool breezes blew across the surface of the sea. When the cool breezes brushed the surface of the sea, they did not cause any ripples. They were incredibly gentle. Xiao Chen hid within the nine cool breezes and divided himself into nine. It was difficult to differentiate the real from the fakes. The spent by Muren who was in desperate straits, rejoiced when he felt the killing chi behind him disappear. Could that person have run out of essence before I did? However, when Bai Muren turned back, he saw nine Xiao Chens moving forward, surrounding him. There was no killing chi, not even killing intent. 
Suddenly, Bai Muran's expression changed. He was startled, clear wind chop. This is the Heavenly Saber Pavilion's secret technique, clear wind chop. Bai Muran was aware of what end awaited him. Now that his essence was exhausted, he had no more strength left to flee. Boom. Nine figures moved past Bai Muran before merging. Xiao Chen returned his saber to its scabbard and stood quietly before Bai Muran. Bang. 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 Nine bleeding holes appeared on nine important acupoints on Bai Muran's chest. Blood spurted from the holes. He wanted to say something but could not speak. Not long later, there were no signs of life, and he fell into the sea. Immediately, another large strand of invisible red light headed for the scarlet throne floating above the sea. This killing intent was more than double the swordsman's. Tida, Tida. The amount of blood in the pool inside the throne instantly restored and even grew larger. Xiao Chen rid himself of that rush of depravity before extracting the spatial ring from Bai Muran's hand. Xiao Chen had finally got rid of the two martial kings. He could finally breathe easy. First, he checked the spatial ring of the swordsman. There were 500 medial grade spirit stones and several 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen took them out without a word. As for the treatment medicines, food, and other trivial things in there, Xiao Chen could not be bothered with him. He simply tossed the spatial ring into a corner of his universe ring. 500 medial grade spirit stones is sufficient for me to cultivate for a period. Let's see what is inside by Murin's spatial ring. He was a superior grade martial king, he should not disappoint me. Xiao Chen inserted his spiritual sense into the spatial ring. Instantly, visions of piles of medial grade spirit stones appeared in his mind. When he counted them, there was no less than 2000. Xiao Chen could not help but smile gently, no wonder the cultivators in this world like to kill others for their treasure. This harvest is too tempting. I wonder how many people died at his hand for him to accumulate so much wealth. Aside from the medial grade spirit stones, there were several hundred thousand inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen took them out like before, as well as some secret manuals and items. As for the rest, they did not catch Xiao Chen's interest. He simply tossed the rest, spatial ring included, into a corner of the universe ring like before. Unfortunately, these two martial kings had not comprehended states. If one of them had comprehended a state, Xiao Chen would not be as relaxed as he was now. Withdraw. Xiao Chen shouted, and the Scarlet Throne instantly turned into a beam of light and headed for Xiao Chen's forehead before entering his Sea of Consciousness. Within the Sea of Consciousness, there were four strands of white flames moving back and forth. These were the lunar true flames that lacked an origin flame. They were simply too little. It was a pity to toss them, but it was useless to keep them. Xiao Chen could only wait until they accumulated a certain amount before he could use them. Xiao Chen took out the top quality inferior grade secret treasure and carefully examined it. It was only at this moment that Xiao Chen was truly free enough to take a look. The inner vest was made of soft leather. When Xiao Chen touched it, it felt very supple. This should be the skin of a spirit beast. There were countless talisman scripts on the inside. When Xiao Chen slid his finger across them, he could feel a strong energy fluctuating under his fingertips, it was rhythmic like the strings of a zither. Xiao Chen sent his spiritual sense into the secret treasure and erased the mark of the previous owner. Then, he branded his own mark onto it. After that, Xiao Chen removed the clear wind robes to try on this secret treasure. Although the clear wind robes were only an ordinary inferior grade secret treasure, their effects would always be active. It would increase the amount of speed boosted as Xiao Chen grew stronger. Movement techniques, moving, attacking, they would all improve. He would never outgrow this secret treasure. It patched up all of Xiao Chen's deficiencies, he was very fond of it. 
When Xiao Chen put on the inner vest, he instantly felt the soft armor project dense lines of energy, piercing through his chest and connecting with his internal organs. The lines of energy quickly formed a membrane and wrapped around Xiao Chen's internal organs, adding a layer of defense to them. Xiao Chen wore a happy expression. He smiled gently and said, This inner vest does not only increase the defense on the outside, but it also protects the internal organs. My overall defense has increased by 20%. Given this, in addition to the physical body that Xiao Chen had obtained with the dragon tendon tiger bone, his defense was, more or less, similar to that of a peak martial king. Initially, Xiao Chen felt a little uncomfortable having his organs wrapped up in this membrane. However, after wearing the secret treasure for a while, he slowly got used to it. After a while, Xiao Chen looked toward the direction of Qinren Island. Multicolored lights stopped showing up. Evidently, secret treasures had stopped emerging. I have been gone for about half a day. The waves surrounding Qinren Island should have weakened by now. I have to rush over. A silver warship appeared from Xiao Chen's right eye, and he leapt onto the bow. They turned into a silver flash of light and rushed into the sky. After flying at full speed for more than two hours, Xiao Chen finally saw the silhouette of the huge waves. They endlessly gushed into the clouds, rushing into the sky, it was as shocking as before. Xiao Chen put away his silver warship and slowly descended, reducing his speed. The many cultivators of Greenwind Island had heard about the secret treasures flying out. Now, a large number of cultivators surrounded the huge wave. Occasionally, someone would break through the huge waves, entering Chinran Island. It looked like the huge waves had indeed weakened. It's still not enough. Our strength is insufficient. We have to wait until tomorrow when the huge waves completely weaken before we enter. Indeed, the ones entering now are some superior grade martial kings and peak superior grade martial kings. It is too difficult for us to break through at the moment. The surrounding cultivators looked at the huge waves and sighed. They were very anxious but could not do anything about it. Xiao Chen used his spiritual sense to feel the strength of the huge waves. He had a pretty good understanding of them. He parted his way through the crowd and flew over. He actually wants to break through these waves with his superior grade martial saint strength. This fellow is too naive. Be careful of the waves reflecting your attacks and injuring you. The youths of today do not understand the gravity of the situation. As a superior grade martial saint, even if he has comprehended a state, he cannot break through these huge waves. Indeed, even we, martial kings, cannot break through and have to wait until tomorrow. This fellow will only fail. When the crowd saw Xiao Chen heading to the massive wall of water with only the strength of a superior grade martial saint, they all laughed. Xiao Chen had already cultivated his state of mind to a certain degree. He simply ignored these mockeries. Ka Ca. When Xiao Chen arrived before the huge waves, he did not stop. He drew the lunar shadow saber with lightning speed, like a bolt of lightning. A dense saber light flashed across the huge wave. A hole instantly opened. Xiao Chen's figure flashed, and he went in before the hole mended. The whole process only took a breath. He chained the axe together very naturally. It took no longer than three seconds. Hey, he really managed to enter. Even I, a peak medial grade martial king, failed three times. Instead, I incurred significant internal injuries. When the crowd who had mocked Xiao Chen saw him vanish through the wall of water, they were all astonished. They felt it was incredulous. Shu, Shu. Not long later, there were two flashes of light from the horizon. It was two young cultivators, one male, and one female. They rushed at the huge waves without slowing. They barged into the huge wave without stopping. It's Jin Wuji and Yu Changxi. They are here already, someone who recognized the two said softly. Following that, 
Several young cultivators flew over. These people paused before the huge waves for a while before breaking through, one by one. They were the outstanding talents of the various nations that Jin Wuji had gathered. When these people learned of the news, they all quickly rushed over. A group of middle-aged martial kings was silent. After a long time, someone sighed, times have changed. It is now a world of the youths. How old are these people? Yet, their cultivations are so deep, their strength is completely different from ours. Indeed. In our time, such people were peak geniuses, outstanding talents of the nation. Yet, now there are so many of them. Earlier, they mocked Xiao Chen for overestimating himself. Now, they saw so many young cultivators breaking through the huge waves. Hence, they all sighed as they expressed their opinions. Beyond the huge waves, the instant Xiao Chen dashed through, he immediately felt chaos within the space. His vision blurred, and he could not recover his wits until for quite a while. White clouds drifted across the blue sky. Surprisingly, the huge waves behind him were dozens of kilometers away. It is indeed as that bloody swordsman had said, the natural laws here have changed. It is a totally different world compared to outside. Xiao Chen collected his thoughts and focused his gaze on the island ahead. Then, he quickly flew over. Ten minutes later, Xiao Chen landed firmly on the island. A massive palace occupied the highest point of the island. The cultivators who broke through the waves all headed toward the palace. The treasures should be within the palace. Xiao Chen hesitated for a while before following after the other cultivators. I, Wu Shangxuan, have finally returned to Qinren Island. This time, I must obtain a superb treasure that will allow me to break through to half-step martial monarch. In the airspace above Qinren Island's seaside, Wu Shengxuan laughed maniacally. He said, I hope that brat will come to his island as well. Given that he carries at least three secret treasures, he must have a lot of valuables on him. After Wu Shengxuan said this, he quickly flew toward the palace at the highest point of Qinren Island. The vast, majestic palace seemed very close. However, it took quite a while to reach. The gates of the palace had opened long ago. A few collapsed pillars littered the ground outside the gateway. When Xiao Chen arrived at the palace, he realized the palace was already badly damaged. Many of the buildings within had collapsed. However, the main palace seemed to be in perfect shape. Since I am already here, I should not hesitate anymore. Xiao Chen followed the crowd and entered the palace. His spiritual sense scanned the area a hundred meters around him, he remained cautious. The passages within the main palace were complicated. Xiao Chen felt like he was trapped in a spider web, all tangled up in the threads. There were night pearls above him, illuminating the corridors. Xiao Chen extended his spiritual sense forward. It moved through the place without any obstructions. Soon, a rough map of the main palace appeared in Xiao Chen's mind. The buildings within were arranged circularly, moving outwards from the center in layers. A rough count gave about 15 circles, about 15 layers. It really was like a spider web. A vast main hall occupied the palace's core. Xiao Chen suspected it was the heart of the palace. Just as Xiao Chen planned to investigate every layer, he suddenly felt a pain in his mind. The map of the main palace in his mind changed and flickered. He felt as if his mind would explode. Xiao Chen's expression changed slightly, and he quickly retracted his spiritual sense. The arrangement of the buildings followed a strange formation pattern. He could only investigate the palace with the good old-fashioned method. The corridors opened to many rooms on both sides. The objects within had already vanished. The people who had arrived earlier must have taken all of the treasures here. There must have been plenty of good stuff in the past. We have arrived too late, everything is already gone. It's fine. The valuable secret treasures, spirit stones, pills, and other stuff are in the deepest few layers. 
The outer layers only had gold, jade, and other mundane items. There was a group of five exploring beside Xiao Chen. When they came out of a room, they talked with hushed voices. How do you know? You have never been here before, the person who spoke earlier obviously did not believe him. I have never been here before, but plenty had come before us. News about it is bound to leak. The inner layers have demonic beasts, puppet beasts, and combat puppets guarding them. It is quite dangerous. Only after defeating them can we safely take the things away. There are many rooms, and very few people have explored this place in the past. Time was limited, so they could not have taken everything. Then what are we waiting for? Let's head to the inner layers to take a look. People have already looted these rooms. The five stopped talking and quickly moved forward. It was like secret treasures beckoned them, drawing them further into the palace to claim their rewards. Xiao Chen was very calm, he was not in a rush to follow after them. He wondered to himself indifferently, how can one so easily obtain a secret treasure? Otherwise, 9 out of 10 would not have died trying in the past. Xiao Chen casually walked into a room to the side. The room was about 10 meters long, 5 meters wide, and 4 meters tall. It was rather spacious. There were some empty boxes along the south wall. Xiao Chen went over and took a look. He discovered a piece of crushed gold that someone had previously missed. It looks like the outer layers of the palace really do not contain any special treasures, Xiao Chen muttered as he held the piece of crushed gold in his hand. There was still a pile of scrap metal on the ground. Xiao Chen used his scabbard to pry the metal open. After a while, he saw shards of exhausted medial grade spirit stones. This is just the first layer, and the combat puppets or puppet beasts already use medial grade spirit stones. It is easy to imagine the danger of the latter layers, Xiao Chen thought to himself. Xiao Chen stopped for quite a while in the buildings of the first layer. He entered the empty rooms and carefully looked around. Unimaginable dangers always accompanied fortuitous encounters. Xiao Chen was no longer the greenhorn that had just stepped into the world. Xiao Chen did not carry the delusion of falling into a hole and finding a secret manual allowing him to become a peak expert. Since Xiao Chen left Mohe City, he had experienced too many dangerous situations. In this cruel world, one's life could vanish like a puff of smoke, ending violently. Xiao Chen carefully searched every layer. Each time he entered a layer, he would carefully investigate a few rooms to see if he could uncover any useful information. Soon, Xiao Chen moved past the third layer and arrived at the fourth. There were already some rooms which were not empty in the fourth layer. Xiao Chen heard the sounds of fighting. Someone in another room fought a combat puppet or puppet beast. However, the treasures of the fourth layer were merely some worldly goods. There was nothing a cultivator needed such as spirit stones or medicinal pills. Xiao Chen continued forward and soon arrived at the entrance of the fifth layer. As the main palace was built such that the outer circles led to the inner circles, there were many entrances into the inner layers. The big doors before Xiao Chen were only one of them. The doors were already open, and there were several corpses lying around the door. As Xiao Chen took a look, his expression changed slightly. The group of cultivators he saw earlier were within that pile of corpses. There were three men and two women. They were superior grade martial kings, and their corpses were perfectly intact. There was only a single wound on their necks. It was clear that they were killed with a sword, caught off guard. Anything valuable on them had been removed. Only humans would kill for treasure. These people had probably never imagined that their lives would end like that. Shu. A strand of sword chi tore through the air and flew toward Xiao Chen from behind the door. The sword chi was incredibly dense and gave off a piercing sonic boom. Xiao Chen had already kept an eye out long ago. 
he performed a backhanded swing with his saber and smashed apart this strand of sword chi. An overbearing, middle-aged superior grade martial king stepped out from behind the door. He had an eye-catching scar on his face. When he saw Xiao Chen, he laughed hoarsely, since when can a superior grade martial saint join in the excitement on Chiran Island? However, since you can defend against my sword, you are pretty strong. This person should have comprehended a state. Otherwise, he could not have instantly killed five martial kings of the same grade, this person would be problematic to deal with. Furthermore, this martial king had waited here for a long time, killing all of the cultivators who walked past without mercy. He was clearly vicious and merciless. Dong. 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 Soft footsteps came from behind Xiao Chen. The overbearing middle-aged man's expression changed slightly. He glared at Xiao Chen and said, Consider yourself lucky, surviving even after I saw you. Who is this powerful? Before he arrived, he managed to scare away this middle-aged martial king. Xiao Chen could not help but turn his head to look. The sound of footsteps drew near. Soon, Xiao Chen saw this person appear. He was stunned. This was the bloody swordsman, Sun Guangquan, the 10th ranked great bladesman of the ancient desolate land. When Sun Guangquan saw Xiao Chen, he was stunned as well. He smiled and said, little brother, I did not expect to see you again. Here's a suggestion for you, with your strength, you can try your luck in the fifth layer. If you explore further, it will become dangerous. This person is rather interesting, Xiao Chen smiled faintly as he watched Sun Guangquan leave. Let's go to the fifth layer and take a look, hopefully I can obtain something good. Immediately after Xiao Chen stepped through the doors, he heard the sounds of fighting. Occasionally, intense explosions reverberated throughout the fifth floor. When Xiao Chen investigated, these sounds all came from the rooms. Xiao Chen rejoiced. He realized that many rooms still had treasures. He should hurry and find a room still tightly shut. Xiao Chen took in a deep breath, and his expression calmed. After that, he kicked down a door, turning it into dust. Xiao Chen's figure flashed, and he stayed close to the wall beside the door. When the combat puppet guarding the room heard some sound, it rushed out with heavy footsteps. Boom. 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 When the combat puppets stepped through the door, Xiao Chen sent out his lunar shadow saber quickly, hacking three times at the combat puppet. Xiao Chen used his full force with every strike, holding nothing back. He merged his essence and physical strength, using a force of at least 100,000 kilograms. The first saber strike chopped off the combat puppet's right hand, which held its weapon. The second saber strike severed the other hand. The third saber strike sliced off the combat puppet's right leg. The crippled combat puppet fell to the ground, it had lost all its combat prowess completely. Xiao Chen had done this for a good reason. When Xiao Chen observed the combat puppets in the earlier layers, he realized that all the combat puppets and puppet beasts had been shattered into tiny pieces. Xiao Chen had guessed that these combat puppets would self-destruct before they died. When he entered the fifth layer and heard sounds of explosions, this verified his guess. All Xiao Chen had to do was to disable the limbs of the combat puppet, removing its combat prowess. Just the thought of 20 medial grade spirit stones exploding was horrible. Xiao Chen was not willing to take the risk to discover its strength. He simply ignored the struggling combat puppet on the ground and headed for the treasure room. The room was spacious. Xiao Chen gazed around his surroundings and found three wooden crates. A layer of dust covered each crate. Xiao Chen retreated about 10 meters and sent out wind from his palm, smashing the crate's lid into dust. The wooden crate emitted a gentle light. There were more than 5,000 inferior grade spirit stones sitting in the crate. He similarly opened the other two crates. The results somewhat disappointed Xiao Chen, they were inferior grade spirit stones as well. 
Xiao Chen put away all the inferior grade spirit stones into his universe ring. Then he started to wander around the 50 layer. Along the way, he met some short-sighted martial kings. When these martial kings saw that Xiao Chen was alone and that he was merely a superior grade martial saint, they tried to kill him for his treasures. Without hesitating, Xiao Chen killed them decisively. The cultivators who lingered in the fifth layer would not be very strong. Not only they would lose their treasures, but they would also die and help Xiao Chen increase the pool of blood in the Scarlet Throne. Bang! Xiao Chen dealt with a combat puppet once again and opened the wooden crates in the room. He obtained another three crates of inferior grade spirit stones, disappointed. Xiao Chen had broken into at least ten rooms. The results were some inferior grade spirit stone and some trashy martial techniques. They were useless to him. No, I cannot keep wasting my time with caution. The harvest is equivalent to the danger encountered. I have to go further in. Xiao Chen put away the spirit stones properly and muttered to himself. After Xiao Chen made up his mind, he did not hesitate and prepared to head for the sixth layer. The further he went in, the fewer rooms he would encounter in each layer. The danger increased, but the rewards were greater. Xiao Chen quickly looked through the crowd in the sixth layer and decided not to stay. He did not find any experts among them, so he forged ahead. A place where experts did not bother to stay meant that there was nothing of value. In that case, there was no need for Xiao Chen to remain. As Xiao Chen made his way forward, there were many martial kings who blocked his way, trying to rob him. He quickly swung his saber and dealt with the problem. This continued until the tenth layer before Xiao Chen stopped. Throughout the tenth layer's circular path, there were, at most, 100 rooms. However, none were sealed. Cultivators' corpses littered the ground. Their blood had not dried yet. There were even some cultivators still alive, moaning in pain. Xiao Chen looked at the corpses on the ground and frowned. These people's strength was quite similar to his. That was to say that if Xiao Chen kept walking forward, he would run into something that could threaten his life. Perhaps he would end up like these people on the ground who could no longer stand. Go. Continue to go on. Xiao Chen made up his mind. He placed his right hand on his saber's hilt and headed further in. When Xiao Chen arrived at the 11th layer, there were no sealed rooms like before. There were even more corpses lying on the ground. He did not explore and moved on. The 12th layer, 13th layer, and 14th layer, the treasure rooms in the core area were all open. The treasures within them had been stolen away. I can only go into the 15th layer, Xiao Chen thought to himself. I have already reached the point of no return. Xiao Chen focused himself and headed for the 15th layer. There were many corpses at the entrance to the 15th layer. These cultivators were killed with one strike. Their spatial rings were gone. It was clear that someone waited here. Xiao Chen scanned the area with his spiritual sense and saw a mysterious old man hiding in the shadows behind the doors. Xiao Chen smiled coldly and sent out a strand of purple saber chi. It pierced the doors and headed for that mysterious old man. A dagger appeared in the old man's hand, and he moved it gently across the air. He tore the saber chi in half like a piece of cloth. Bang! The mysterious old man's figure flashed and the wooden doors shattered, he appeared before Xiao Chen. Wu Shengxuan. Wu Shengxuan looked at Xiao Chen and smiled sinisterly, Little brother, I did not expect us to meet again. How about it? Will you reconsider this old man's previous request? Xiao Chen sheathed his saber and smiled faintly, So, it is old Wu. I'm sorry for making a move against you. Seeing Xiao Chen sheath his saber, Wu Shengxuan lowered his guard. He thought to himself, in the end, he is merely a greenhorn, new to the world. I can use him for a while first. Thinking of this, Wu Shengxuan laughed and said, there is no need to mind the small matters. 
This treasure hunt has surpassed this old man's expectation. Young Hero should have seen the tragic situation of the earlier layers. It looks like we have a chance to open the gates to the main hall. Will you consider my previous suggestion again? Xiao Chen slowly stepped closer to Wu Shangxuan. He discovered that when this person spoke, he was still in a state of high alert. Furthermore, the way he stood revealed no weakness. Regardless of what direction Xiao Chen attacked from, the other party would dodge, it was clear that he was cautious. Xiao Chen maintained a 5 meter distance from the other party. He said indifferently, since we met, let's take a look together. Senior, please tell me about the situation ahead. Wu Shengxuan nodded and smiled, there are 7 treasure rooms in the 15th layer. Because fewer people had explored this layer in the past, no one has broken past the guards of the 15th layer. Xiao Chen peered through the entrance of the 15th layer. There was indeed a pile of puppet beasts among the corpses. When he thought about it, he had also seen some combat puppets and puppet beasts at the entrances of the other layers. There should have been guards at every entrance to the next layer. However, Xiao Chen was slightly late, and the guards had already been defeated. Hence, Xiao Chen could move unhindered. Let's go. Currently, there are groups of four or five people in each treasure room. With the two of us working together, we don't have to wait around for scraps, Wu Shengxuan downplayed the situation. There were at least 15 corpses on the ground, Xiao Chen assumed he had killed them. This person was truly insidious. Wu Shengxuan led the way as they walked through the passageway. He was clearly familiar with the way as he led Xiao Chen to a treasure room. A sinister look appeared in his eyes when he stopped. Fighting sounds came from within the room. Evidently, there was a group of cultivators inside already. Bang! Wu Shengxuan kicked down the door and entered. There were four superior grade martial kings fighting a ferocious rank 7 demonic beast in the spacious room. There were three heavy looking golden crates sitting quietly in the corner. When the few of them saw Wu Shengxuan suddenly appear, they were all startled. The leader of the group knocked back the demonic beast with a palm. The leader leapt out of the fight and came to Wu Shengxuan. He looked at Xiao Chen behind and said, Wu Shengxuan, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you to scram? Wu Shengxuan smiled and said, Yang Wen, this old man was clearly the first to find this room. Why else would I be here? Obviously, I am here to chase you all away. Yang Wen looked at Xiao Chen and smiled with some disdain, just by relying on him. You are too naive. Distract this person first. I will deal with the other three. After that, we will split the treasures in this room equally. Otherwise, with your strength, you could not gain any benefits from this 15th layer. Wu Shengxuan focused his voice beside Xiao Chen's ear while he spoke. Xiao Chen thought very quickly. After a moment, while the two spoke, he made a decision. He drew his saber. Xiao Chen sent out a dense purple saber light at Yang Wen. Yang Wen smiled faintly and casually released his palm wind. As the palm wind howled, a tornado appeared in the air. This casual palm strike was not weak. Kai, Kai, Kai. However, Xiao Chen's saber light was very dense. The strong state of thunder easily chopped through the palm wind. Xiao Chen took advantage of this opportunity to get closer to Yang Wen. Wu Shengxuan chuckled and quickly headed for the other three. Yang Wen, take your time and have fun. I will play with your brothers first. Damn it. He has actually comprehended the state of thunder. It will be impossible to deal with him with two or three moves. Yang Wen's expression changed. He wanted to stop Wu Shengxuan, but a saber light blocked his way. Yang Wen dodged a few times, but the saber light followed after him. There was no way he could escape. He could only use caution and focus his attention on Xiao Chen. I will kill you today for spoiling my matter. Yang Wen bellowed and violently sent out a palm strike at Xiao Chen. 
A few strands of cold chi spread throughout the palm wind. The cold chi crowded together like a bundle of thread. This Yang Wen had comprehended the state of ice. A superior grade martial king with the state of ice, this person is not easy to deal with. Wu Shengxuan is still here, who is not easy to deal with either. I will go with the flow for now. Xiao Chen made up his mind and executed the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art. He did not clash head on with Yang Wen's strong attacks and moved around him like a slippery mudfish. However, when the other party wanted to slip away, the saber light chased after him like a venomous snake. This forced Yang Wen to deal with it. There were a few times when Yang Wen pretended to slip away but in fact, planned to capture Xiao Chen and attack him. However, his skills were too weak, and Xiao Chen saw through them instantly. There were even a few times that Yang Wen fell for Xiao Chen's tricks, confounding him. Ah! There was a miserable shriek. Wu Shengxuan finally made his move and sneak attacked one of the three martial king fighting with the demonic beast, killing him. Yang Wen was very anxious. However, Xiao Chen stuck close to him, not allowing him to go and help. After the four martial kings surrounded the rank 7 demonic beast, victory was already at hand. They would have been able to kill it. However, they were currently missing one person so they could not kill the demonic beast and could barely defend. Hence, Wu Shengxuan's successful sneak attack was expected. Lacking yet another person, the remaining two were no longer a match for the demonic beast. The demonic beast took up the chase, they did not even have the chance to flee. Hu Kai. There was another flash of scarlet light. The dagger in Wu Shengxuan's hand took the life of another person. Then, he vanished again, hiding in the shadows. Wu Shengxuan's aura disappeared completely. He did not attract the demonic beast's attention. One more person, then, I will deal with Yang Wen. After that, that brat will have no more value. By then, the entrance to the main hall should be open. I will go there and try my luck. Miraculous pills and treasures can only be found there. Wu Shengxuan, who was hidden in the shadows, smiled to himself. Everything was under his control. Fu Si. The final cultivator dodged an attack from the demonic beast. However, before he could sigh in relief, a black dagger appeared at his back, piercing his heart. That cultivator's life force drained quickly. His eyes widened in shock. He had been so careful, how did he still get sneak attacked? Ka Ca. Wu Shengxuan casually snapped that person's neck and slowly slid his dagger out. He said indifferently, after you reincarnate, don't run into me again. When the demonic beast, which clung to life by a thread, saw his target disappear, its scarlet eyes immediately focused on Wu Shengxuan. Wu Shengxuan smiled, and his left hand moved around gently. His shadow on the ground instantly transformed into countless black lines, flying up. Shu, Shu, Shu. The black lines were like resilient, sharp arrows. They carried a strong force as they pinned the demonic beast to the wall, not allowing it to move. Yang Wen knew the fight was over. He shouted a war cry and pushed Xiao Chen back with a palm strike. Then, he fled toward the door. Xiao Chen dodged the palm strike. He originally planned to stick to his opponent. However, he paused for a moment. Xiao Chen slowed and chased after Yang Wen, keeping a two-meter distance. Thinking of running, Wu Shengxuan's figure turned into a black shadow and elongated. In an instant, he blocked the door and returned to his normal form. Bang! Wu Shengxuan and Yang Wen exchanged a palm strike. The shockwave that ensued caused the treasure room to tremble continuously. Wu Shengxuan only took a small step back. However, Yang Wen moved back five or six steps before he could stand firmly. It was clear that Wu Shengxuan was stronger than his opponent. You bullied me earlier when you had the advantage of numbers and felt fresh. Well, come again, you piece of trash. There seemed to be some history between the two of them. 
Furthermore, Wu Shengxuan had suffered some disadvantage and was humiliated by the other party. At this moment, Wu Shengxuan did not keep his guard up. His use his full force and beat Yang Wen into a retreat as he laughed maniacally. Hu Kai. A strand of saber light flashed by Wu Shengxuan, it was Xiao Chen coming over to help. Wu Shengxuan laughed coldly, what a fool, even with his imminent death, he still wants to help me. Wu Shengxuan's expression remained unchanged. He laughed and said, little brother, aside from the treasures in the boxes, we will equally split these people's possessions. Later, we have an opportunity to go to the main hall. Help me finish this person off. Xiao Chen sent out a strand of dense saber chi. At the same time, he surreptitiously put a distance between himself and Wu Shengxuan as he broke Yang Wen's palm wind. Xiao Chen lifted his right foot slightly and smiled gently, I will thank you in advance then, old Wu. Ha ha, there is no need to stand on ceremony, this is what you deserve, Wu Wu, you. Bang. Before Wu Shengxuan could finish speaking, Xiao Chen suddenly sent a sidekick at his lower jaw, nearly kicking the jaw from his face. He tumbled through the air. This kick was not only heavy, but its angle and timing were also very precise. Just as Wu Shengxuan completely let down his guard, Xiao Chen made his move. This completely took Wu Shengxuan by surprise. He had not expected Xiao Chen who had seemed naive and foolish, to launch a sudden sneak attack. When this happened, Yang Wen was stunned for a moment before he reacted. Yang Wen made full use of this opportunity and struck with Xiao Chen. He punched Wu Shengxuan's chest and sent his attacker tumbling through the air. Boom! Boom! Two dull sounds came from Wu Shengxuan's body. His internal organs shattered and he vomited a large mouthful of blood before smashing heavily into the wall. Good, 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 white-robed bladesman, I, Wu Shengxuan, will remember you. Just you wait, Wu Shengxuan viciously said as he struggled on the ground. Wu Shengxuan turned into a shadow once again and elongated toward the exit as if he tried to escape, he had executed that strange movement technique again. Bang! An intense explosion came from the treasure room. The raging winds bounced throughout the spacious room for a long time, forming into a strong tornado. Neither Xiao Chen nor Yang Wen chased after the injured Wu Shengxuan. They had used their full power against him earlier. Both of them retreated a few steps. Yang Wen flung his hand for a moment, it felt slightly numb. He thought to himself, this punch actually had a hundred thousand kilograms of force. Xiao Chen said indifferently, aside from your essence being thicker than mine, your physical strength, states, and cultivation techniques cannot compare to mine. The martial techniques you have learned are similar to mine, peak earth ranked martial techniques. You may take one box and leave, don't think of taking more than that. Yang Wen was stunned for a long time. He did not expect this youth to be so calm and cold. Xiao Chen's analysis was spot on, everything was as he had said. No wonder he was able to play Wu Shengxuan in the palm of his hands. You are indeed a hero of the youths. I, Yang Wen, admit my defeat. Yang Wen did not waste any time and casually picked a golden box. He then retrieved the spatial rings of his companions and started to leave. Xiao Chen released all his killing qi. His scarlet throne trembled relentlessly. The pure state of massacre pressed on Yang Wen. Did I say you could take the spatial rings? Xiao Chen's cold voice rang out with the killing intent. Yang Wen's heart trembled. That pure state of massacre was like a large mountain pressing on his head. That killing intent made his breathing difficult. This youth actually had another state. Furthermore, it was the difficult to comprehend state of massacre. Thinking of this, Yang Wen gave up on his initial intentions and quickly left with the single box. He feared that he would not keep his life if he lingered. Xiao Chen scattered the state of massacre. When he saw Yang Wen leave, 
he sighed in relief. He said indifferently, the state of massacre is extraordinary. It unexpectedly managed to scare away a superior grade martial king. Xiao Chen traveled with Wu Shengshuan for no more than an hour. However, he felt like it had been over half a month, it had exhausted him. Acting against Xiao Chen's own interest like that, competing with their wits, he was not used to this. However, he needed to learn this in this world. Otherwise, survival would be very difficult. Fortunately, everything ended well, the matter resolved perfectly. Everything was within Xiao Chen's control. Xiao Chen quickly dealt with the demonic beast on its last breath before extracting its demonic core. Then, he focused his gaze on the remaining two golden boxes. He did not know if the items of the 15th layer would give him a pleasant surprise. Xiao Chen took a deep breath. Then, he carefully walked over to the box on the left. Like the previous boxes, there were no traps. Rows of medial grade spirit stones lined the inside of the large box. Because there were so many, a vast spiritual energy spilled out the moment he opened the box. Xiao Chen's face lit up with joy. He smiled gently and said, there are, at the very least, 2000 in here. The harvest is pretty good. No wonder the killing outside is so intense. Xiao Chen counted the spirit stones carefully and found that they exceeded his estimation. There was a total of 3000 medial grade spirit stones. The number was startlingly large. Xiao Chen took out the spirit stones and placed them in his universe ring. Then, he focused his attention on the other box. He did not know what surprises this box would give him. Creak. Xiao Chen gently pried the box open, giving off a creaking sound. The huge box was empty save for a set of black gloves lying in the corner. The gloves were covered in dust and looked very old. Xiao Chen took them out doubtfully and gently wiped off the dust. With the dust gone, Xiao Chen carefully inspected the gloves. The black gloves looked plain, they had no decorations. The gloves were also rather thin, about as thin as a piece of cloth. When Xiao Chen touched them they felt cool to the touch but not like metal. This soft sensation from the tough material was incredibly pleasing. This pair should be a secret treasure. Going by their aura, they should also be a peak inferior grade secret treasure, similar to the inner vest I am wearing. Xiao Chen erased the mark left by the previous owner and slowly placed them on. These gloves were half-finger gloves, when he wore them half the length of his fingers were uncovered. Xiao Chen felt a slight itch on the back of his hand for a moment before it faded. Then, he clenched his fist and casually punched the air. Xiao Chen was astonished to discover that his attacking speed increased by another 20%. With the addition of the clear wind robes, that was a total of 30%. Xiao Chen looked at the black gloves and said gently, so, they are gloves that increase my attacking speed. The windwalk shoes increase my movement speed, the clear wind robes increase all kinds of speed. This means that I have a full set of secret treasures that increases my speed for now. Xiao Chen said he had gathered a set for now because as cultivators increased their cultivation realm, inferior grade secret treasures would have a diminishing effect. Once he surpassed medial grade martial king, there would not be much of an effect for him anymore. Xiao Chen might enjoy a 20% boost now. However, when he became a medial grade martial king, it would only become 10%. At that time, Xiao Chen would need to use medial grade secret treasures. However, medial grade secret treasures were very rare, it was difficult to obtain one. Xiao Chen collected his thoughts and placed his right hand on the saber hilt. He focused himself and looked ahead, he planned to test out this secret treasure. Ka Ca. Xiao Chen drew the lunar shadow saber quickly and used drawing the saber, he instantly achieved Mach 3. The air sliced apart as if it were water. When Xiao Chen sheathed his saber, the torn air slowly flowed back together. 
Before this, Xiao Chen had to use his full power and exhausted a large amount of essence to achieve Mach 3 withdrawing the saber. With these black gloves, Xiao Chen only had to exhaust a small amount of essence and casually use drawing the saber to achieve Mach 3 easily. Secret treasures, secret treasures, no wonder so many people go crazy for them. They would put in all their effort, killing others in the process to obtain them. A good secret treasure was extremely useful for a cultivator. Xiao Chen calmed his emotions and took the spatial rings of the two cultivators on the ground. However, when he checked them, he only obtained a total of slightly over a thousand medial grade spirit stones. The rest were either inferior grade spirit stones or useless to him. However, Xiao Chen would not complain about the extra fortune he gained, he was satisfied already. Xiao Chen smiled faintly and made his way forward. The sounds of fighting in the 15th layer slowly came to a stop. It was clear that others had already cleared out the rooms on the 15th layer. Bang! As Xiao Chen pondered, a loud sound suddenly came from ahead. A miserable shriek followed closely after, it was ear-piercing and incomparably mournful. 